In this project, we have been assigned with growing three butterfly orchids in our school. This species is native to Florida, and this experiment will be happening in High Lea Senior High School. Orchids are a species of plants that are endangered due to things like orchid hunters and deforestation. But even with all of this happening, communities around the world try to protect this beautiful flower species from disappearing, making great efforts towards maintaining them. Our objective is not only to grow this plant, but also to learn about it and hopefully, by the end of this experiment, be able to help a native species to be more seen in the ecosystem they belong to, and in the process, also help towards the reintroduction and spread of this species. The orchid species, even though specific in its way of living as a specialist, are also varying and seen in lots of the world's ecosystem. Each species is adapted to this environment and having their own strategies. A proof of this being that there are 25,000 or more species. As we saw in this project, orchids have their very specific way of growing. When we started, we first had to find a place to plant our orchid. Orchids are a plant that can be grown in different places, but for this experiment, we decided to plant them in a tree trunk. The orchid had to be helped to stay on the tree trunk before it attached itself. We did this by using some string to hold it in place and putting coconut husk so the orchid would trap more moisture. We learned that orchids need a lot of water so that they can grow, so we kept checking on them and watering them almost every day. Watering them was a major part of the process, since after helping the orchids and being held to the tree, there wasn't much more we could do other than check on them to make sure they were doing good, so that if they weren't, we could do something about it. We just kept waiting for them to attach to the tree so they could be independent. During this process, we lost two orchids to what seemed like missing watering. After learning from this mistake, we made sure to not let the same thing happen to our last orchid, which successfully made it to the end of the experiment, now attached to the tree by its own roots.